I completed 10 years successfully. Wow, great. <laughs> Teacher, I worked as a headmaster of the institution. Around five years, I worked. Uh, sorry, ten years. Them is not replying. I don't know. Maybe when I uh, they saw their my photo, they will think he is very aged person. Why now he is studying English? <laughs> <laughs> is it? That's is also- it? Hello. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Yeah, good evening madam, good evening. Yeah. How are you today? How are you madam? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I am doing great madam. Thank you for asking. Okay, so I was excited to read your email. There are a lot of people sending in requests. But thanks for sending <laughs> yeah, the email and then also okay, madam. for sparing your time to be a to, yeah, to be a part of this conversational video. So I introduce myself, Madam. My name is Abu. I am originally from Karnataka. So basically, I was a teacher. So around ten years, I worked as a teacher in private school. Then later, I switch up that job and jump to accounts field. Okay. So currently, I am working. Currently, I am working at Maldives in finance department. Oh. For ten okay. years. Okay. I came here on two thousand fourteen. Then this is the two thousand twenty four. So I completed ten years. Successfully. Wow! Great! <laughs> wow! That's great. Yeah. So how do you like Maldives? Yeah, yeah, Maldives is a very beautiful country, madam. Mm. It's one of the tourist country. Many mm. tourists are visiting here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Great. So thanks for sharing that. Uh, so why mm-hmm. did you change your profession, like from a teacher to the account section? Uh, madam, that is the big story, madam. Actually, uh, my degree is BCom. Actually, when I was in final year, no, when I was in second year, our uh, one lecturer told, "If you go to B. Ed., you have good opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you done B. Ed., okay. So I went for especially Hindi B. Ed. My subject was Hindi in B. Ed. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. After B. Ed., I joined private school as a Hindi teacher. Not only teacher, I worked as a headmaster of the institution. Around five year, I worked. Uh, sorry, ten year, I worked as a headmaster. Okay. Private unaided school. That is Canada Medium School. Okay. So so when I so when I worked there, my salary was very less. Whenever I speak about the salary, management was telling our school will get the grant. Once you get the grant, you will get the government salary. Then your salary okay. will be good. So you will wait for grant. So I waited there around ten years. Then my age is going up, but there is no chance to come the grant. So there was no any other option to do. So totally, I switch up that job and I jump to accounts okay. field because okay. that time I did my MBA in through correspondence, mm. MBA in finance. Okay. So on that basis, I got the job here. So I am working here, sir, for ten ten years. Yeah, this is my ten years. Mm. So you had the presence of mind to do something else, even though it was distance yeah. education to take up MBA. Yeah. Yeah, via distance yeah. education, so that you had Plan B. That's great. Many people get stuck, you know. Mm-hmm. See, many people become yeah, discouraged yeah. after working for so many years with a particular yeah. uh, organization or uh, institution. Yeah. So you had Plan B. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay, but do you miss those thank school you, days? You. Do you miss those school yeah, days, or is it madam, okay? I, I, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Really, I fond of teaching, madam, because okay. I'm working here. I'm okay, good. But really, I like teaching. Because when I go back India, because after five year or six years, when I go back and India settle, I want to join as headmaster. Oh. <laughs> so that is not in Canada medium school. I want to join as headmaster in English medium school. Were you a strict <laughs> headmaster? Let me ask you that. <laughs> I was a very strict person as headmaster. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, but you miss those days. Yes, definitely. Yeah, Let's really, hope for the best. Really, yeah, madam. Really, teaching field was it's very good. Uh, field, madam, because we have any tension or we have any feelings when you go to school and when we see the children, really we feel very happy. Yes, that's true. That's true. But, yeah, but this happy we will not get here. Here, morning to evening, we have to work. We will get good salary. That is another uh, matter. But we have no any satisfaction here. But in teaching <laughs> field, we have no good salary, but we will get lot of happiness. Yeah, that's true. And teaching means you're dealing with people who are younger than you, like children, yeah, or yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, even yeah. teaching keeps people young. That's what I have experienced. Yeah, even yeah, if you yeah, have yeah, older learners, when you learn something, you are again back to that student. 
student yeah, phase madam. of your life yeah That's yeah true. because teaching means we are like we are students because yes, every day we, we have to uh, study we have to prepare and going it's totally amazing madam we cannot uh, i am really miss that teaching field we sent many youtubers okay. regarding this conversation but some of them is not replying i don't know maybe when i Uh, they saw their my photo. They will think he is very aged person. Why now he is studying English? <laughs> <laughs> is it? That's is it? <laughs> that, that also will be a reason. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I, I believe that uh, learning has got no yeah, age no. barrier. You can yeah, learn yeah, anything. No any age barrier or anything. Mm. Whenever we can study, if we are really consistency, if we have a strong determination, we can study and whatever achievement we can do it. Okay. Age is okay. age is doesn't matter. Now when I feel myself when i assess myself when i evaluate myself i feel my english is so improved but it i don't know it has become better is... okay okay it yeah, has yeah, become yeah. better what is your opinion i don't know but when i think myself my english has improved better yes you know yourself better because you know the initial days of your yeah, learning yeah. journey yeah madam yeah so madam, you I as agree. a learner because you have common sense and as a learner you will know how much you have improved and what is your level yeah, i completely... have some doubt madam so Yeah, yeah, madam, I have some doubt, so I want to clear doubt with you. First of all, when we tell uh, home, go home, we are telling go home. We are not telling go to home. Yes, correct. So, yes. what is the reason to tell like that? Go home. What? Why? Yeah, go, go why home. we shouldn't go say home. in English, I go am home. going yeah. to home. Go home. But I am yeah. going to house is okay. To house yeah, is okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So See, house, uh, house yeah. is. the literal structure the structure of the building the building, building as yeah, such okay. or house whatever mm. it's made mm. of mm. but home is mm. the bond or maybe the people living uh. so suppose i tell you building, i feel yeah. at home when i come when i go to my friend's house i feel at home yeah it means it's the yeah. bond so i cannot say yeah. go to home how can you go to home i go home mm. after office go home, yeah. i go home so stru structure yeah. means it's something that is seen something that is tangible yeah yeah okay something yeah. that's tangible something that is literally visible so to house which yeah. is the building which is a structure yeah. yeah normally some people are telling i used to go there then i went to there so what is the meaning of used to go that is correct or wrong so i went to there some people are telling i went to there some people are telling i used to go there so what is the difference these are two different sentences these are two different sentences okay. i went yeah, there okay. is Simple past tense. Past tense. Okay. Okay. I went okay. there. I went to the market. I went to yes. I went for work yesterday. You didn't see me. I went there. Simple. Yeah, simple past. There. Okay. I used to go hmm. there means maybe in that particular time at that particular period hmm. or that particular phase hmm. you used to do it, hmm. but now you are no longer doing it. Or maybe later you never hmm. did it. I used to Did drink it, yeah. tea, but now maybe I'm drinking something uh -huh, else. Uh -huh. I used to drink tea oh, yeah. at that particular uh -huh. time. It's not only time, past time. the time, okay. you know. The time past. is important. Time, I used time. to do yeah. it with reference to something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I used to go there, but nowadays I no longer. I'm not not going there. Yeah. I used to go there often. So maybe yeah. now you don't go often. Maybe yeah, you go once in a while. So it depends on what you're trying to convey. But no longer you're doing it. Or maybe at that particular yeah. time you were doing it, and later you took a gap. It can mean anything. It's not that you never uh -huh. did it later, but maybe at that mm -hmm. particular time I did it. But maybe after that, no, I took a break. It can have other meanings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So one thing that yeah, I have got to ask you is: this is mm -hmm. one thing that we always speak about. Smile. Smile. Okay. Smile, so even yeah. as a headmaster, mm -hmm. even as a teacher, you would have told. Mm -hmm. Your students, yeah. hey, smile always. Yeah, Even I have heard yeah. many tutors are saying, "Smile always, okay." When you give a presentation, do you think it's okay. necessary to always smile? Because of course, when you smile, there is positive energy. It gives lot of vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But some people mistake it, and some tutors also use it in the inappropriate places. Like smile mm. always. Is it necessary? When to smile? When not to smile? What are your thoughts on it? And we smile when we take some examples. When we do fun, really they are enjoying lot. Okay. So what you are trying to tell you? Yeah. So what you are trying to tell me is depending on what you are saying. For example, a story, maybe the beginning of a class, or maybe when it is needed, yeah. you have to smile so that you spread, you you show that you are approachable. Like when you smile, there is that accessibility towards you as a teacher. 
when it is necessary we have to smile mm. then when lesson we should be very strict we have to show our assertiveness you have to be assertive yeah. sometimes yeah, that yeah, is yeah. in in a proper sometimes. way dignified way you give yeah, the right guidelines way. depending yes. upon the situation depending yes, upon exactly. the class we have to we have to act like that otherwise every day when we go and smile means they will say ah oh, this is this teacher is always smiling <laughs> <laughs> always smiling so we can take it for granted yes. not only with teachers even yeah, if your yeah, boss yeah. They, keeps they smiling will... all the time yes <laughs> yeah, then it, it will. They, they will think something about that smile. Smiling is everything should be needed. We have to smile. We have, we have to very. We want to be very strong. Uh, everything should be needed in class. Yes, yes. Uh, I think it begins with home, and then it also begins with teachers. Because when you give teachers, go, wrong yeah, guidelines, like smile always. I have seen people yeah. taking presentations smiling all the forty minutes. i mean it gives a wrong <laughs> picture there so sometimes when they have to give instructions they smile thinking no i'm supposed to smile so that is also yeah, something yeah. which can mislead people okay yes so we're coming to the end of the session yeah, okay, so no, i'll okay, give you a okay, short okay, feedback so that it can help you so okay madam i feel you're very confident as a speaker you're you're really confident and your body language is thank great thank you okay but you thank really you, need to mm. work on grammar grammar i wouldn't say every aspect but it's yes prepositions mm. we don't say yeah. on 2020 it is in 2020 or uh, in, in 2024 th- yeah. yes yeah it's it's probably mm. because you're not focusing when you're speaking that is the problem yeah madam yeah madam yeah? because yeah and mm. if you done be it no if you do be it because you're beginning the sentence mm. with if if you do be it mm. uh maybe you can work longer with this institution mm. the next thing is mm. when i worked there when i worked mm. there mm. ed so i am just giving ED, you the right. pattern i am not finding mistakes in mm. every sentence the first yeah, thing is okay. preposition you have, to, you have to tell that no yeah, yeah. preposition mm. second thing is conditional yeah. sentence whenever you make a conditional sentence be very careful conditional sentence mm. can begin with when if and sometimes mm. neither of them will be there you may not have even yeah. if you may not even have when mm. Yes, mm. you are referring to a particular period from the past. Yeah. When I worked there, mm. I felt that it was not going to work with me. I had to switch yeah. jobs because of this reason. Yeah. So it's from your past yeah. pace. That is yeah. from your um, teaching period. So when I mm. ED worked there, so it's a common mistake. Yeah, so just pay attention. Problems. Yeah. When I stopped, okay. when I stopped working, I understood the difference between this and that. These are some of the sentences yeah, yeah. that you have to use. Yeah. the pattern okay. yeah i feel you you will have progress like after you complete yeah. maybe 3 months you go to any tutor any mentor we tell minimum 2 mm. months 3 months that is when yeah. you begin experiencing the progress after yeah. that when you work hard some people learn fast mm. see i have yeah. two people co- who come to me for sessions i'll give you examples one is a doctor mm. and one is an engineer mm. one is a professor okay who who mm. works with an engineering college both of them are brilliant mm. one person mm. took lot of time to gain confidence mm. while presenting during presentations and Present. seminars but one yeah. person did it within 2 weeks so can i mm. say this person is better than that person no it's just because no, one learner worked hard after the sessions or maybe yeah. listened to my sessions again wrote down notes yeah. right yeah. but the other person I, i cannot call the other person a slow or maybe bad learner that person mm-hmm. took time because he or she wanted to take time wanted to be thorough with some of the concepts so both of them are excellent learners but they have reached their goal so it is totally dependent mm-hmm. on what you do and also upon the guidelines that i give you and the module that i prepare i prepare my modules based on your requirements and based on your level so suppose you are coming okay. for sessions the first thing is i'll set your sentences right i'll work on prepositions okay. and then i'll teach you some of the concepts where you're making uh, mistakes vigorously mm. vigorous i should mm. use the word vigorously so i have to correct that and then put you across the other activities that's how it works yeah actually uh, i think uh, i spoke a little fast that's why uh, that mistake has come <laughs> see speed has Can got something to do with um, your uh, you know mm. your skills but i wouldn't say that is mm. the only thing as i told you i'm repeating that point i looked at the pattern mm. of errors there were places where you spoke slow where you spoke mm. fast whatever is the pace you need to focus on your sentences mm. so consecutive and uh, you can say frequent errors with prepositions show that 
you are not used to prepositions or maybe you don't mm. know why it is wrong it could be habitual pattern of error it could be because you're not focusing whatever it is yeah. let's minimize the errors so i always look at the frequency so when you go fast yes there is a tendency to make mistakes but not everywhere because as a human being we slow mm. down also at times i realized that in in many places you have been making the same mistakes or maybe uh, getting mm. mixed up with that tense and this tense so that's why i gave you that feedback oh. when you work on these okay. areas definitely your sentences will become better and you will notice that your okay. communication also become established okay right slip of tongue is different okay. you can make errors with one or two sentences even as trainers we do that but pattern yeah. of errors pattern of errors is something mm. that we always look at right so mm. it was nice talking to okay. you and i hope that okay, good parts okay. of this uh, thank you video will help many people and good connecting yeah. with thank you, you so thanks much. a lot for sparing some time thank you madam thank you so much yeah.